How would you like to know how to make a healthy, delicious ice cream made mostly from bananas? Let me show you how to do that right now. Hi, I'm Kenny Loy. I've been a certified nutritionist since 1999 and a high raw vegan since 1994. If you're looking for healthy tips and recipes to get you to your best health yet, then you're in the right place. So please hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future tips and recipes. Most people use a high speed blender like a Blendtec or a Vitamix to make an ice cream, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with or without one. So let's get started right now. We stockpile bananas every time we go to the grocery store. We try to keep a rotation of green and ripe bananas, freezing them when they are too ripe to eat. We'll need about six to eight very ripe bananas to have enough ice cream to share. Peel them and break them into smaller chunks. We quarter them, but you can slice into smaller pieces if you need to. We put them into bags to store in the freezer. They'll need to freeze for at least 12 hours. The sky's the limit on how you can flavor the banana and ice cream. You can sweeten it with any healthy sweetener, but the bananas are usually sweet enough. You can even add some raw vegan protein powder if you wish. If you're transitioning to eat more raw, you can add raw nut butter. Be sure and stick around until the end so you can see how to do this without a high speed blender. First, I'm making chocolate banana and ice cream in the Vitamix. I'm using raw cacao powder, which is considered a superfood. We'll need two tablespoons and about a cup of nut milk. So let's put these into the Vitamix. It's best to pre-mix the milk and powder on the lowest setting. It makes it easier to mix in the frozen bananas. I usually have to bang them against the counter to break them up a bit. Don't forget to download our five free day meal plan in the description below. Now start on low, gradually increasing the speed, then hit turbo. Use the tamper aggressively. Don't worry, those blades and the motor are strong enough to handle them. I've lowered the volume for you, but this gets quite loud. I usually put in earplugs since I use this baby every day. I don't know why, but I love that swirl. Blend until you have the texture of soft serve ice cream. Divide the ice cream into bowls if you're sharing. But I usually eat this entire container for lunch every day. Sprinkle with cacao nibs if you like. Mmm, mmm. You can turn any ice cream into a smoothie bowl if you like. Check out our video where we make five different delicious smoothie bowls. Another option is to mix frozen bananas with another frozen fruit like mangoes. It's not as creamy and is more like a slushy though, but still delicious. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button now. It would really help us out a lot. Now we want to show you how to make a strawberry banana ice cream without the Vitamix. First, we want to make a strawberry puree. Just put strawberries and water into a small blender. Pulse a few times until you have a thick liquid. Now slice in a few bananas in a separate container. Add some nut milk and maybe some vanilla or vanilla stevia if you like. Blend this into a thick liquid. Pour into a container that will work in the freezer. Spoon in the strawberry puree onto the surface of the puree bananas. Swirl in those strawberries. Now place in the freezer for several hours. What dessert would you like us to remake in a healthy way? Let us know in the comments below. Once frozen, scoop out the strawberry banana and ice cream into a bowl. You may need to let it thaw for a few minutes. 
It's a bit icy at first, but it becomes more creamy as it thaws. You can drizzle more strawberry puree or garnish with whole strawberries. So delicious. Remember, you can still have your comfort foods, but in a healthy way. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Watch these videos around me to get more healthy tips and recipes. Thanks for watching.